Hi, it's Dwyer. DwyerVIP.blogspot.com, gamblersadvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about a basketball parlay, a two-part parlay for December 29th, 2011. Now keep in mind, because the season is young, it's my belief that we don't have enough information to play around with big point spreads. I would rather sacrifice the odds on a money line play and then make it worthwhile by bundling it with other picks into a parlay, right? The parlay I'm recommending is that you take the Orlando Magic in Orlando, in other words, at home against the New Jersey Nets. That's one part of the parlay. And I want you to combine it with the second half of the parlay, the under in the New York Knicks at the Los Angeles Lakers. Okay, let's talk about both. First, the Orlando Magic New Jersey game. Let me point out that New Jersey is in disarray, right? They were behind big in both of their games. They were able to come back against the Washington Wizards. They weren't able to come back against the Atlanta Hawks. Right, They've been struggling ever since they lost their starting center, Brooke Lopez, and in fact, they got badly out-rebounded by the Atlanta Hawks. Mehmet Okur, who they picked up from the Utah Jazz, is not a rebounder. They have a rebounding crisis on their hands. And of course, they're going up against one of the premier rebounders in the game, in Dwight Howard. Let me also point out that they're so out of sync that two of their starters, both of whom played at least 15 minutes in the Atlanta Hawks game, scored no points. And that's Johan Petro and Damian James, right? I think the Orlando Magic easily beat the New Jersey Nets. Keep in mind, Orlando's coming off of a win against the Houston Rockets, where both Hedu Turkoglu and Dwight Howard scored more than 20 points. Also, certain guys on the Orlando Magic, Jameer Nelson in particular, have been slumping a little bit. If Nelson just plays his normal game, then this game shouldn't be close. I like Orlando over New Jersey on a money line play. I like the under in the Knicks-Lakers game. Why? Because the Knicks earlier tonight only scored 78 points against the Golden State Warriors. Because the Lakers, who now have a new coach, Mike Brown, only gave up 71 points in their last game against the Utah Jazz. And, of course, all three of the Laker games have gone under, right? The over-under number right now is too high. It's a 197. It seems to be based on what the teams did last year. This year, life is different, right? Because Mike Brown is coaching the Lakers, who are now a much more defensive team. I like the under in that Knicks-Lakers game. Let me also make one more point, too. The Lakers, after playing three games in three days, actually got a chance to rest. Their last game was on the 27th. I think on the 29th, they show up ready to play some defense. So there you have it. I like the Orlando Magic over the New Jersey Nets parlayed with the under in the Nick Laker game. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. And of course, visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and look at our private picks at dwyervip.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.